What's going on everyone? Talon here from Talon Collects Figures and today we're going to be taking a look at this Nero or Saber Nero Claudius. So I ended up just picking her up because I found her on sale. Um, wasn't necessarily what I was looking for. I was actually just looking for a regular Saber because I wanted the classic Saber but she was at a good price, so I decided to uh, pick her up just to see what she was like and maybe add her to my collection here. Um, I ended up picking her up for $58, and that is including uh, shipping and tax, or there was no tax in this case. I ended up buying her off the website Nin Nin Games, so it was exported or, yeah, it was uh, imported here from Japan. So I didn't have to pay, of course, taxes for that, but did have to pay the shipping. So yeah, for that price, I figured I couldn't really pass her up um, because from what I've been seeing, retail is supposed to be $130 on her. Um, I mean, that's that's retail price. That's not really what she's been selling for. I think other places still are selling her for like $70, uh, $75 or something like that at the time, of course, of me recording this. So yeah, I found her for a lot less than that. So that's why I decided to jump on that. Uh, she was originally released in, uh, what is that? October of 2018. So she is an older figure here. So two years old now. Um, I did just get her, so I purchased her in October of 2020. Um, if you're curious for when I actually did the purchase of her. Um, bought her new, of course, sealed. This is supposedly, there's not really any branding on here for me to see who actually uh, made the figure. Um, but from what it says on the website here, she was made by Ken Elephant as the manufacturer. Then if I look at another... Uh, website the maker says that it is alter so not really sure who to believe here but let's go ahead and get her out of the package and uh, see what she looks like So here we have her sword. Go ahead and take that out there. If, uh, we can get a focus going on here. There we go. Looks pretty good. It seems pretty, uh, pretty uh, delicate though. So I want to be a little careful with that. Got her base here with some a uh, little bit of decoration going on there. But pretty much just a black base. And then finally, we have Nero herself. So she looks pretty good here. She's got a mixture of kind of like hard plastic and then some uh, soft plastic here for the uh, kind of gown. Well, it's a little bit harder there, but two different kinds there, it feels like. I uh, got some flexibility here. She feels very sturdy though. The figure, the figure's got some uh, resistance to it. So it seems like a nice quality build there. Luckily this little uh, doop hair piece didn't break. That seems yeah, like you don't really want to mess around with that too much because that would be the first thing to uh, break on this particular figure here. Um, for all the like, has nice the nice feel that I expect from good quality figure. Just got oh, don't want to push on that too much. That might actually pop out. You might be able to take the bow out. I don't really want to risk trying to pull that out just because uh, maybe it's not supposed to. And there she's got her little crown on as well. So let's go ahead and set her up here and uh, see what she looks like. All right, there we go. So we got her all uh, all set up here. She's on her stand and she popped into the stand quite nicely. It seems very, uh, very sturdy as well. The base is really secured to her. We've got two pegs under this foot here and one peg here that's keeping her in place. 
Um, and then she does have a peg on the back of her or right at her like elbow for the sword. So right here, there's a like a little insert. So you could just push that in so that it stays because she, she's not holding it as you can see with her hand because her hand has that kind of just uh, open or flat palm look going on it. So yeah, she looks pretty good. So actually pretty happy that I decided to uh, grab her while she was on sale because she'll go really well when I finally find a saber that I really uh, like and want to get because generally for me when I collect um, a figure I like to get just like one of each character or like one of my favorite characters and just put them together I usually don't get a lot of like duplicates of like the same character I generally just go for one and done kind of thing even though I know there's a lot of different poses outfits and looks for the characters but generally I like to just go with uh, one per character so if I have a figure say for Nero here and I see one that I like more that's with within my price range of course and I probably pick that one up and then I would just sell her off but for now she's the only Nero that I have so uh, she's gonna be sitting in my collection and I do really like the way she looks so you can see there so now maybe we'll get a few uh, a few more close-ups of her makes it a little difficult the base and I uh, oh, don't want to hit my camera there um, and I really really like any anime girl that has green eyes definitely my favorite color uh, for the eyes there so kind of a sucker for that so that also may have influenced my purchase a little bit here but yeah good detail on uh, the outfit here all feels really nice she's got a little bit of weight to her I think she stands about seven inches tall or something like that seven and a half inches Yeah, so if anyone else owns this figure, I'm curious to know if you uh, like her as well, if she's in your main collection or if she's just sitting kind of a little bit out of view or something like that, just uh, something that you picked up on a whim. Kind of like me, I just, like I said, picked her up just because, but I'm actually quite happy with the, uh, with the figure here. Alright, so that's my saber narrow claudius version uh let me know like i said if you have her if you like her and uh yeah that's going to be it for this video here hopefully you're enjoying the channel and the look at the figures if you have any suggestions for um what i should change here if you want me to go over i don't know something different or something more specific in there i'm just trying to give you my impressions of what i think of the quality um kind of like the sculpt there because the face looks pretty looks really good on the character so I've just been going over kind of things like that but if there's something that i haven't talked about uh for the figure that you're interested in uh feel free to let me know in the comments below and maybe i'll start including that in my future videos but for now that's going to be it hopefully you enjoyed and of course i will catch you in the next one